Well, yeah, obviously for us they're all important wins. Um, so to come to Port and beat Port here, it's been pretty tough for us over, I think, since Port's existence. So, um, yeah, for this group specifically, it's a very good win for them, but for the club overall to, to beat Port here has um, taken a bit of time. How was that final few minutes, John, the last quarter? Yeah, yeah. I suppose um, you know we had to win the game in the last few minutes. Uh, we didn't have it wrapped up any anywhere um, before that, and uh, probably had opportunities to maybe be further in front at different times of the game. So that's again areas that we know we've still got to get better at because um, we can't give teams the chance to think they're still in the game if if we have dominated for periods. I suppose it's still times. Even through the third quarter, some of you are making mistakes that yep. were costing you to us. Are they the ones that you still have to do? Yeah, they're, they're, and we talked about composure and different periods of the game and understanding where the game's at. So, um, yeah, the, they certainly have still got a long, lot to learn, and, and uh, you know, we'll keep working with them on that. What are the key indicators to you that things are going right apart from just getting a couple of out of the season? What, what do you see out there today that gives you confidence that um, they're going right? Well, a bit more belief in themselves about they're, they're going to match it and, and going out to win games. Um, so, you know, really today with uh, with Lecra out, um, there was no there was no second guessing or second thoughts that it was we weren't a lesser chance to win the game. We came over here to say right, we still want to win. So, um, just that that belief within the group, I think, is uh, is a lot stronger. Uh, yeah, great start for us. Great start. You know, he's uh, he's a long way back for where, where we know he can get to. Um, but uh, our focus is uh, and our hope is that we'll see Daniel back to his best football um, in the near future. And uh, that's a good start for him today. Inaccuracy must have been an issue for you today. Yeah, we missed a few easy ones, and that was a bit of what we're talking about. Uh, opportunities to maybe extend the lead even further, um, and um, just we didn't grab them when they were there. So it's an area that we've, another area for improvement for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see glimpses of his talent. Um, it'll take a few weeks, no doubt, of consistent um, playing at this level and getting his uh, his full match fitness up. But um, yeah, there's no doubt we'll see him do some some of the things that that Daniel can do in different games. But uh, when he really is up and going, will will be mainly around his his match fitness, uh, and that'll take a few weeks. There were times in the game where both him and Nico also had a big There's a good message in both those blokes I've mentioned. Big Nick, in, uh, no, um, Nick uh, Nikoski. Uh, yeah. Yep. Um, they have, yeah. Um, uh, Mark Nikoski's, you know, just never stopped being a really professional uh, footballer, preparing well and uh, and saying I'm available to play a role. And you know, we asked him last year to start working uh, to be able to play more as a forward, and he worked really hard. Had some injuries and missed out on some opportunities, but. You know, he's pushed up hard and, and really forced his way into the lineup uh, for the start of this season. Yeah, obviously different in that. Curry has had injuries, but he was always going to be a, a certain starter when he was fit enough to be in the side. Um, but yeah, his his attitude about getting back to wanting to play his best footy has been great. John, having um, Cox and Adam Nui in the centre square at the same time is really interesting and worth. Can you share some thoughts? Well, Nick is uh, Nick does make things happen when he's around the ball, whether he's in the ruck or whether they're kicking it long term as a forward, or whether he's in around the contest as an extra player. So we would give him those opportunities to make things happen for us. And two tools in the centre square, and well, he didn't do it all the time. No, no, it's a uh, oh, no. It's more about the impact that Nick has. You know, he doesn't. He's not in there to mark it. He's in there to hunt the footy and uh, and burst through and create space for the boys and do all sorts sorts of things that he that he does naturally. Yeah, I, I, I can't comment on that, but um, yeah, it's certainly uh, you know we just think Nick can have an impact for us around the ball. Yeah, yeah, outstanding start to the season for us. Um, you know. Solid pre-season and um, got himself ready to go. And uh, he's um, 
leadership around the club has been outstanding this, this pre-season and I think he's taken that to a new level in terms of wanting to lead the way on the field for the players. It's always been a very good footballer on field for us, but some of his leadership stuff now has is, is, uh, is been significant. Is that something you've asked him to do or something? No, it's something that I think uh, it's, um, it's one of those things. I think we, uh, from talking to the players, um, they... they said they wanted him back in their leadership group, so he'd shown it. So he was rewarded with that after being in the leadership group a few years ago and, and drifting out of it. He's back in there because the team see him as one of the leaders and he's um, you know, showing that. No, no, I, I get them in pretty much straight away all the time now. Yeah, no, that's, that's, you'll see that. That's just, I'll get them straight in. Yep. Oh, I haven't really thought about it. Um, no, I haven't. So nothing that stood out for me. But yeah, yeah, he, uh, he obviously moves really well. Good runner, um, strong body, and and uses the ball well on both sides of his body. So um, uh, you know, we've just always been um, keen to get his body in the right shape to cope because he's had some serious injuries in his early early in his career but his his attitude and the way he coped with it was always about when I'm ready to go um, I'll be out there for him well just a strong willed and um, uh, you know level headed young man who oh, every possibility yeah Just Bo Waters had a sore uh, elbow at the end, but uh, he had um, was the other elbow. So Bo's elbow. He hurt his elbow late, but it's not the one he had operated on the coming in. Um, just happened to you. You must be pleased with your aggression more today, like the pressure forward kicking into that. Well, yeah, I think Josh Kennedy set the standard there early for us with a couple of big chase downs and. Um, so, you know, that's uh, an area, again, that the players know is critical to today's game. And you're demanding that from them? Um, well, it's one of the things that we've talked about as a group, that we know uh, the good sides are doing it, and if we want to be a good side, we've got to be better at it. And just listen, well, Andrew Gaffin's obviously taken a move into that. That's how you spoke about the subject in the pre-season, wasn't Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's done it well both games. Last week he came on uh, right on quarter time, and, and this week he waited a little bit longer, but... Yeah, he's still really pleased with the way he's going. Is that how, when he said it was going to be a tactical sort of thing at times when you could use it that way? Is that how you yeah, it? yeah. The the the, um, the decision about who to sub off is uh, it's not critical, but it's important. So uh, looking at Lynch coming off, and we know in another tough, tight game that Lynch will be able to run the whole game out. And we had a couple of guys coming in Nat Nui and Kerr that we expected to tire. Uh, but we decided to take Lynch out because Nat Nui and Kerr, with Gaff coming in, we could rest them a little bit more on the bench and uh, and still think they could impact the game around the ball. Sandy, why did you decide to take it that time? Uh, well, it was around, yeah, just it was about that time that we wanted to start to get Kerr off or Nat Nui off and start the rotation. So to do it with the fresh player rather than putting another um, exhausted guy.